I was uh, struck immediately by the setup of it, of being, it's trying to be, I don't know, political in a very odd, in a very odd way. It's very timely. Like the, the, um, the uh, themes of it, um, it is, it is, it, it is attempting to have a message beyond here is a cute talking robot. Um, it didn't need to do that. No, no, it didn't. But I honestly, like, I, I appreciate it attempting considering like that must've been a hard thing for them to get through in Reagan era Hollywood. Like the year before yeah. this, the year before this came out, Red Dawn came out. You know what I mean? Like th there's, there was, the, yeah. there was a very, very specific subsect of, of Hollywood that was like, um, uh, we, we hope that the Russians give the Cubans a bunch of money to parachute into a small Colorado town so that we can then shoot all of them with our rifles and like that was that that was that was a fantasy that was that was born out of this. Um, like it is very it is very funny to me that if you look back at like movies from the eighties, the original Rambo was a hugely anti cop anti war movie, and Rambo two could not possibly be more pro war. <laughs> like it could not, po and that one came out in eighty five, and this came out in eighty six. Like it was it it's it's a very very the second term uh, uh, of Reagan's presidency was very very much um, uh, uh, of, of like the people in the know could see the writing on the wall with like okay well the 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 Russians are on their last legs like they're trying to to keep to be as scary as they were in the fifties sixties and seventies but that's not it anymore however let's keep the American public in the dark about all that and make lots of movies that make them out to be incredibly scary still. Um, because this is, uh, the, it's about a bunch of secret weapons to be used in the cold war. Like the specific thing that they said, they say the, the Johnny five, who doesn't get Jason. that name and doesn't get that name until the end of the movie. Um, he's just number five through most of it. But uh, Johnny Five is a programmed, built to be um, a, uh, it's, the, the, he's part of a, of a, of a mission codenamed Operation Gotcha Last, which is that if somehow the Ruskies send a bunch of ICBMs and blow up America, we can push one button to to parachute all of these guys into Russia and they'll just drive up Main Street Moscow and blow up Moscow. So if you get us, we'll get you back with this really cute talking robot. And that was like the that was the point of the of the robots were made to be that. And only an act of God, a bolt of lightning from the blue could make Johnny five into Johnny five uh, and make him alive. Uh, it's of course it's um, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very interesting premise uh, to like, who, who is this robot? Oh, well, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a non feeling killing machine until a bolt of lightning hits him. And then he's everybody's best friend. It is a very odd little, little premise to, 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 to couch your film in. That's just also like, I don't know a lot about electronics, but that's not what happens when a bolt of lightning hits something. No, electronic. I mean like he had a he was there was a huge power surge which fried all his circuits. Right. I which don't makes think you there's a human. <laughs> there, there's there's less than uh, authentic science within the film, um, uh, but uh, yeah. So it knocks so, Finn Balor off the top rope. That's right. It turns robots yes. into humans. That's true. <laughs> Both of those things are correct. Um, so uh, the 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 movie uh, uh, starts with a demonstration of the power of said robots. 
um, where there's right. a, a, a tank that rolls over some, some flowers in a field because, you know, they're a Russian tank. American tanks would have not rolled over the flowers because American tanks not. know, apparent American tanks know the power of natural beauty, but those Russian tanks. Um, yeah. And anyway, a bunch of APCs and uh, like, you know, one of those uh, trucks that carries GI Joes in it. Um, and then there's a bunch of uh, robots that blow up all the tanks and stuff. And then we see that the people in the tanks that are blown up are actually just mannequins. And then we realize this is a uh, a demonstration of these robots called the Saint. I forget what that stands for. Um, you can you can you can you can bet N in Saint stands for nuclear. Uh, but everything Definitely. else, not sure. Um, but they are being shown in a demonstration to a bunch of uh, military types. You can tell because they're all wearing military uniforms and they got all those little little dealies that say what a big shot they are on their on their all uniform. Right. Um, and they're, they're plotting because this is the greatest thing ever. We're going to blow up some Russians. This is going to be great. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Click the subscribe button and find out what it means to me. Nah, that doesn't have a ring to it. But if you like videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, subscribe now.